Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team. And in today's quick tip, we are going to do something unprecedented. I'm going to improve on last week's quick tip, which you can find in the link on the top right. And I'm going to show you an even simpler way of inverting the growth of a vertex map. Let's go and check out our growth over here. And you can see that in this vertex map, we have a freeze layer and we have a random field in the radius just uh, to make it animate a bit. You will see that we have a bit of noise here and that noise is generated by that random field. And also the freeze layer is growing by 20 centimeters with every step. Now in last week's video, I created a secondary vertex map that allowed you to take the values of this one and invert them using an invert layer. But the fastest way to do it is to select the vertex map itself, go to the basic tab and invert it. Now you would ask me, why didn't I use this last time? And the reason is that while for simple inversions, this is the way to go. If you want to do other types of effects which require both the combination of a freeze layer and uh, one of the other layers that modify the values of the field, for example, the decay, the delay, and so forth, you will be required to do them using a copy of your vertex map. But in any case, now you have the quick and easy way and the more geeky, interesting way that allows you to do other things as well. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.